Welcome back to our Sunday morning spotlight. We have the Free Your Wings Youth Mentoring Team here. We have the founder, Asia Ellington, and your two kids, Tanasia Summers, as well as Valentino Summers. They've helped you, got, uh, you out a lot when you've been building um, this uh, nonprofit as well. But just give me an update on how things have been in the youth mentoring space with Free Your Wings. Gotcha. So again, Free Your Wings is a 501c3 nonprofit youth mentoring organization. Um, we engage, elevate, and empower youth families and communities in the St. Joseph County. Um, some updates. Uh, we have we've shifted in a way, um, I guess in an intentional way. So we yeah. offer mentoring, tutoring, um, community youth uh, organizing. But lately, there has been a lot of uh, crisis interventions. Now, when we first started for Your Wings, that wasn't the main goal of it. But a lot of uh, we do a lot of QPR assessments. So mm -hmm. um, individuals with uh, who suffer with suicidal ideation yeah. and referring to um, resources who youth who may be uh, houseless at the time and all of the intersections that comes with that. Mm -hmm. um, and Tanasia and Valentino, you two are a pretty big part in being able to identify youth out there in the community who could use some help like this. Talk about some of your roles with Free Your Wings and how those have changed since y'all last came on the show. Valentino, we'll, t we'll start with you. Okay, so my roles in Free Your Wings has went from helping out in small events mm -hmm. to like hosting, getting people to come, getting people to participate. Also like participate. You guys will find like some of your friends, the people you interact with, you can identify that they could use some of the service that your mom has set up, yeah. right? It also helps me with it helps me with talking to people. Like it helps me yeah. in day-to-day -day life. So if my friend get mad or get into an argument, I could I just tell him like, take it easy because you don't know who they friends with or what they do, and you don't want to risk it. Yeah. So I mean, nowadays everything's so accessible. You can't be too safe. Yeah. And well, Tanaja, what do you see out there? What do you see with your friends and? How has uh, your participation in Free Your Wings, how have you been able to kind of look out for your friends and, and get them some services if they've needed some? Um, I just, when I see my friends about to do something that I wouldn't do, I just, I tell them to don't do it and they typically listen, <laughs> but when they don't, I just, but it's easy as that, right? It's easy as having a friend who is willing to tell you something different that you weren't thinking at that time, being able to say, hey, I maybe wouldn't do that. You might want to think twice about that. Do you feel that you've made a real impact on kids just like you in South Bend? Yes, a yeah. lot. I, I think, think we can tell. I'm sorry, I think what's yeah. very important with their roles is they're equipped with all of these different tools and then sometimes they don't even know what they are using when they're in school speaking to their peers. Valentino has talked to his friends and, and even peers off the edge who, who no longer wanted to be here and I hear how Tanaja just empowers um, and encourages her friends and even individuals that she don't know so just instilling that within them so they can continue to pass it along with their age groups. Yeah you guys really do have a very important perspective and really do make a difference in how you're able to influence your friends as well. Now, shifting focus just a little bit from Free Your Wings, okay. Asia, you have taken on another role at Goshen yes. College as well. So you're taking another step up. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so I am the Director of Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and I am also the Campus Counselor. So it's a very unique role, but I'm very excited for everything that's coming with it. And, and why is that something that is important to bring to Goshen College? What are you looking forward to uh, bringing to that institution? I think not having to choose between wearing my social worker hat. Yeah. Um, and I've been in a number of roles where I had to remove that hat. So being able to offer those critical mental health components and then also help with uh, uh, the, the community piece as far as um, uh, any DEI initiatives and things like that. All right, well, if anyone needs to get in touch with you about either Free Your Wings or to learn more about uh, how you impact Goshen College, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, how can they make contact? So uh, freeyourwings.org is the organization's uh, website, um, Facebook, uh, all social media outlets, mm -hmm. um, or when you see me. 
in the community. <laughs> because you're out there. Yes. I've seen you out there so many times, and that's why I'm so happy to be able to bring you back on as well as Taneja and Valentino. Thank you guys so much Thank you. for making my last Sunday morning spotlight exactly. that much more special. I know. I'm, I'm trying to keep the tears yeah. in. Someone's cutting onions in the back or something like that. Now, you've done amazing, phenomenal work in the community. You'll truly be missed. Well, I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for people like you three. So thank you guys so much. If you want to hear this interview again, learn all this information, we'll have this posted on our Facebook page and our website a little bit after the show. But until then, we got more 16 News Now Sunday morning coming your way. Mm -hmm.